Hello, everybody. This is Brian Tonsoni from Delphi High School. Uh, we are meeting tonight as Delphi Bracketologist, our school club. We have Daniel Jakes, who is one of our outstanding students at Delphi. We have our outstanding math teacher, Ty Schuler. I am Brian Tonsoni. I teach social studies, and the three of us are part of a 10-member sports club at Delphi High School where we talk college football and college basketball throughout the year. And so we're trying our first video conference. We have brought in our year-long sponsor of our game day shows, uh, Sammy Jacobs from uh, Hoosier Huddle, a website that covers um, quite greatly our Indiana Hoosiers from uh, the state here of Indiana. And he is uh, probably the expert on this uh, for uh, panels. Any of our listeners, if you would like uh, to ask us a question or make a comment, uh, you can type that up in the message board and we'll try to uh, get to your questions if we can. Okay, gentlemen, uh, we're here to talk college football playoff. A poll just came out uh, today uh, with Clemson number one, Alabama number two, Ohio State number three, and Notre Dame number four. Let's get your initial thoughts on the, the poll. We'll start with you, uh, Daniel. Uh, your Ohio State Buckeyes are in there at number three. What do you think of those top four, Daniel? Um, I think you could honestly make an argument that Notre Dame can even jump them for number three. Um, Notre Dame, I feel, could be this year's Ohio State. They can make it uh, through those uh, tough Temple games, um, USC. Um, they can make a case to be this year's Ohio State Buckeyes. Um if they keep winning, I mean, they control their own faith. So, um, Ohio state, I mean, they're getting by week by week, but Alabama had a huge win against LSU this past week and they deserve that number two spot full heartedly. Um, Clemson just keeps chugging on. All right, Mr. Schuler, Ty Schuler, your thoughts on uh, the top four. Yeah, I think I have to tend to agree with Jake's on about Notre Dame. Notre Dame just keeps finding a way to win. Uh, they've they've struck with some injury, but they keep finding a way to win. And I think that they, at the end of the year, they may be up there at the 2-3. Um, you know, I think Alabama's getting a little bit of love because year in and year out, they're, they're one of the national powerhouses. And, um, you know, I think that's what's keeping them high in the ranks. Uh, but they did have a nice win over LSU uh, that surely kind of solidified them and you know and gave them a little bit of judgment on um being up there but uh you know as long as ohio state keeps winning i think they're gonna be uh there i i do also like uh you know clemson i think clemson has a chance to be there uh as well uh come the end of the year uh they got a nice uh, they have a nice defense that complements their offense uh very well they're a fun team to watch and uh, you know i think that's probably going to boost them up there a little bit sammy your thoughts on the the top four has came out in the in the poll today. Oh, so we're not talking Purdue, Kansas, and Vanderbilt? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, right now. Uh, well, I told um, you he was an expert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I... – Uh-oh, did we lose Sammy? It's that we'll... way. All right, well, he'll, he'll call back in in a second here, or we'll get him, but I will – I was um, I was not surprised with the top four, and um, Clemson obviously right now has to be the number one. There's always some other um, places, some other teams that could maybe claim being in the top four, but I think that top four is a solid top four for for where we're at right now with a lot of games coming up to decide that. But I think it's a solid grouping. And uh, Sammy, I think we got you back now. Yeah, note to self, do not put your cell phone near your computer while you're doing this. <laughs> um, I, I like the top four. Uh, I'm not too hot on Alabama. I know they play in the SEC, and, and, and the SEC is very tough. Uh, but they do have a loss to a three-loss Ole Miss team uh, at home. They did beat a very good LSU team. But, uh, you know, they, they'll – if they win the West, they'll they'll stay in there. Um, I don't know if Notre Dame, if they lose, they're going to be out. Their strength of schedule there at the end is very uh, light. They end with Stanford, who's probably their best. If they win that game, that's probably their best win of the year. Uh, they did beat a Georgia Tech team who's under 500. Uh, Temple, who is very good, they, they beat uh, a couple weeks ago. So it, it'll be interesting to see how um, – 
these big 12 teams uh, like Baylor and Oklahoma State play into this because their strength of schedule at the back end is uh, ridiculous. And I think that they play – all the big, ten, uh, big 12 powers play each other. So I think that's uh, going to be a, a big factor there at the end. Okay, let's, um, let's go this route. Which team is not currently in the top four that you think will have the best chance of breaking in – to the tournament. Daniel? I feel it's Oklahoma State. Um, Their defense causes a lot of turnovers. Um, I did some research on them at the beginning of the year. Um, Some of the coaches in that uh, conference said that Mason Rudolph could be a dark horse Heisman contender. Um, They have the talent level to be there. And um, I think if their defense gets the turnovers – Um, and Rudolph doesn't make too many mistakes, I think they can be right in that conversation for a top four spot. Very good. Uh, Ty Shuler, what what team do you look for to crack, maybe crack the top four? Well, I I like one of the teams out of the Big 12, to be honest with you. I I think, again, the strength of schedule at the end of the year for some of those teams is phenomenal. Uh, Oklahoma State, a Baylor, uh, I I like them. I I really do. And, uh, you know, I think one of those teams are going to be the type that are going to sneak in there. I mean, these are teams in the Big 12. I mean, they're putting up 40, 50 points a night. I mean, they got the offense rolling. They're holding teams down. Some teams that they're playing, uh, they're holding down within 20. But uh, some of these games are a shootout, and they're finding ways to win. And, and I really think that uh, those type of opponents there are going to be the ones that are going to sneak into possibly those top four spots. Sammy, who's your call for uh, breaking into this top four? Uh, well, I, I, I will go with the Big 12 as well. I do think that they have a little uh, power, too, as well as that they were left out last year. And that's something that the, this playoff committee doesn't want to do again. Um, but both of the Baylor and Oklahoma State can lose a game there. It's a very tough back end of the schedule. But I, I'm going to go with Stanford uh, could sneak in there. Uh, you know, it, it, they play Notre Dame at the end of the year. Uh, their one loss is a good loss at Northwestern to open the season. If they run the table there and get to the Pac-12 championship game and go 13-1, and one, and you see a couple of these Big 12 teams uh, cannibalize each other, I think um, Stanford could get up there. I would say Iowa, too, but, you know, I just don't see them beating Ohio State uh, in the – uh, Big Ten championship game. I thought Iowa was the one team uh, that's a little overrated there. Mm-hmm. I think just to I, piggyback on that, I think uh, Iowa has to win the Big Ten if they're going to have a chance. Uh, they yeah. got to win that championship game, but I think it's going to come down. Uh, Stanford gets in if they beat Notre Dame. I, I think that's kind of the game there for both Notre Dame and Stanford uh, for that final four spot. I, I think I'm going to go with Jake's. I think Oklahoma State, if they run the table, uh, with the big win at TCU, is likely to maybe jump in. Now, again, do they need help? That's a question. If Notre Dame wins out, all these teams in the top four, if they win out, I think they stay. Uh, I don't know that Oklahoma – and Oklahoma State might be the one because of the back-end strength of schedule in the Big 12. Uh, beating Oklahoma, I think they'll have to play. And, uh, and um, so – and I think they still play Baylor, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have the schedule up right here, but I, I – <laughs> They play Iowa State, Baylor, and Oklahoma. Okay, um, so two quality wins there for Oklahoma State. Is that enough to throw them over Notre Dame if Notre Dame runs the table? I don't know any of those other – you know, Baylor I think is going to lose one. Unfortunately, their quarterback got hurt. I think they got a tough slate here coming up. I think they play Oklahoma right this week. So yeah. that would be my team. Sammy, I'm going to ask you a question, and then I have a, a student who I'm going to ask to – come in and fill your spot if you don't mind, and then stick around because I might have you come back. Uh, But I want to get your take on the Big Ten since you are uh, following the Indiana Hoosiers and you follow a lot of Big Ten games. There's Iowa, who's undefeated at number five. There's the Buckeyes, undefeated at number three. And you got a one-loss Michigan State team who, if they beat uh, Ohio State and beat Iowa in a championship, uh, would they have a chance to get back in? Would you analyze for our panel uh, the uh, the Big Ten and then, uh, Kane, be ready. Uh, I, I'm going to come to you here in a little bit to, to call in and get you on the show. Um, Sammy, what's your take on the Big Ten prospects in that order? Oh, man. Um, first of all, I forgot the order, but I'll start with Ohio State. <laughs> I, I do think that um, – It was a long question. 
<laughs> it was a long question, and uh, it's been a long day. But um, starting with Ohio State, I think that if they uh, run the table, you saw it last year that they, uh, the committee won't keep an undefeated uh, defending champion ch- out. I don't agree with that philosophy, um, but – Ohio State's clearly the most talented team in the Big Ten. Uh, they have had their problems with the quarterback. I think JT Barrett is the best option for them. I don't know how he's going to respond after his arrest uh, and coming back. Uh, if he plays well, I think it turns their team into a totally different monster than with Cardell back there. Um, and they have a pretty reasonable end of the schedule. They do end with uh, Michigan State at home and at Michigan I believe that they might lose one of those two games. It's just tough. Those two have become real rivals uh, for Ohio State, and just playing them back-to-back is really tough. Uh, To go on to Michigan State uh, last week, uh, you know, they blew that game. Uh, I think it was a bad call, uh, but, you know, the Big Ten came out and and agreed with it. Uh, But Michigan State's been playing with fire all year. They didn't – Michigan game too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, you know Michigan, they stole the Michigan game on a on a pump block. They beat a, a weak Oregon team, uh, I think by three. And you know we all saw them against Indiana, where they didn't look super impressive, but they they stayed there. Um, you know that they scored a bunch of points there in the last five minutes. But they're that team that man, they need another big win to get in and, and need to beat Ohio State and then probably beat Iowa in the uh, the Big Ten championship game. Can now, I – Iowa – yes, I, I think if they win out and go 13-0 and and beat an Ohio State or Michigan State in the Big Ten championship game, it's going to be very, very difficult to keep them out of the uh, out of the playoff. The Big Ten, I, I think, is, is much better this year and much deeper than it has been in past years. Um, Iowa will have beaten Northwestern. They will have uh, beaten Michigan State or Ohio State. Uh, They would have beaten uh, Nebraska and Minnesota. Um, Those aren't the greatest teams, but there's still – you're going on the road playing Big Ten teams. So, you know, Iowa needs to go 13-0. I think you're going to – they might not get in if they go 13-0, but – uh, you know, I'd put it at, at um, 75, 25% that they're in if they run the table. Okay. Uh, Sammy, I appreciate you being on. If you'd stick around and participate in the chat, and then I might bring you back in at the end. Um, I want to give this other student a chance to call in. Uh, I appreciate uh, you uh, being here, and uh, we'll talk to you here again maybe a little later. So- sounds good. Thank you. Yep. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, Kane, if you would try to call in. Let's talk SEC. I think you got um, – you have uh, – Alabama obviously is in, in control. You have LSU who needs Alabama to lose in order to get into the SEC championship game. And then you got Florida sitting there on the other side of the conference. And um, – hello, Kane. Hey. Sounds good. So uh, I think Kane was the one who asked, um, could LSU find their way in? So let's go. Uh, let's go to Ty. Uh, what do you think about some SEC football and who might get in? And well, Alabama controls their own destiny. Obviously, uh, they just got to keep right on winning. Uh, and with uh, you know, it's going to be a, I think a great matchup in Atlanta with uh, Alabama and Florida. Uh, just to see kind of some, you know, contrasting offenses and defenses for for both teams uh, out there. Uh, it's going to be real interesting. But, you know, if Alabama, if they don't run the table, and, you know, I, I think that they have to run the table, obviously, in the division, but they may also have to win the SEC championship in order to get a right in there. Or if not, you know, you could see a team like LSU sneak up in there or, uh, you know – Boy, I don't, I don't know. Other than that, I mean, I think LSU is probably the only other option that you can get out of the SEC. Yeah, I, I think, um, I think Alabama is the team there. I, I don't know that, um, I don't know that LSU is going to have a chance. I think they're good enough. I don't think two SEC teams are going to get in. Always something crazy happens in a championship game. Wouldn't it be something if, if Florida? upsets Alabama and then what do they do does Florida leapfrog all these teams and get in they almost have to if they 
if they beat an Alabama in the SEC. But there's Oklahoma State, there's Iowa, there's all kinds of things that could happen, Notre Dame. So um, interesting to see what might happen there. Uh, Kane, what do you think? You asked a question about LSU. You think they can get back in or or, uh, what? I mean – LSU, I mean, they had a loss, but it was to Alabama. Alabama's already in. So, is it a bad loss? No, I don't think so. I see uh, Iowa, they get a loss. They're out, definitely. Uh, LSU has to move up, hopefully with a Notre Dame loss. I mean, I don't know. I think I think from here on out for LSU, it's about them continuing their winning and losses coming from other teams. So. Yeah, and, and the problem with mm-hmm. LSU is they can't get to the championship game if Alabama yeah. wins out, right? So if they yeah. can't get into the college football playoff without playing in the SEC championship, um, th- th- that's interesting. Um, Jakes, what do you think about the SEC? How's that going to play my, out? One team, two teams? My big question is if I didn't, – I didn't see the polls uh, this evening – um, I know the top four, but I didn't see where Florida was ranked. But what if Florida does end up beating LSU or Alabama? Um, as Sammy uh, put in the chat, uh, Bama has Mississippi State and Auburn left. I mean, we've seen some crazy stuff happen with the War Eagle and uh, Roll Tide meeting up. Um, I mean – Anything can happen. I mean, I mean. Yeah. Sammy just it's... said Florida's lost to LSU already. So what happens? Florida goes to, against Alabama in the SEC. Florida beats Alabama. Alabama has beaten LSU. LSU there's a three-way kind of a, a mix with LSU not having to play a championship game. That's when this thing gets tricky because strength of schedule for the SEC has got to be stronger than Baylor and Oklahoma State and Stanford and Utah. There's another question about Utah. So that's well, the SEC. Th- oh, go ahead. Yeah. Finish up, Ty. I, no, at the, for the SEC, I think if you got the three-way tie, I think it's whoever wins a championship is going to get that nod. Uh, right. You know, and, if, and with Alabama and LSU both in the same division, uh, both uh, maybe deserving, maybe not. They're both good enough definitely to play in a Final Four. But whoever wins that division is probably going to get the nod over the team that doesn't. And then I think they also still have to win the SEC because I think you can make a good argument for Florida. You know, they battled back. They got a loss to LSU, but they ended up beating Alabama for the title game. And they win the SEC, which, let's face it, is the power football conference in the country. You know, I, I think that you have to consider them as well. You know, in that. Okay, how about then, this? You know, go, yeah. How about this scenario to our, our two student panelists here? Florida beats Alabama in the SEC championship. Look at Sammy just said uh, LSU is ranked ninth in the poll. Florida is 11. Does LSU benefit from not having to play that championship game? Are they the second team? Is it Florida LSU or is it Florida who beats Alabama and Alabama gets in or is there just going to be the winner only? What do you think? Uh, We'll start with uh, Daniel. I think I have to agree with uh, Mr. Schuler. Just, I think whoever wins gets it. I mean, I think LSU is not benefiting from not being able to play in that game because if they if they were to play in that, I think they would have the better chance of making it. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see all three teams missing out on the playoff. I see at least one making it, but I don't see either. Yeah, I don't see all three or even two joining. I mean, do you I don't... think um, to get two teams, SEC to get two teams in, Kane? Do you think someone like a Clemson or Ohio State getting beat by Michigan State? No, so no Big Ten, no ACC means two SEC teams. Is that something that you think might have to happen for two SEC teams? I, th- I think the only way that can happen is if it's an Ohio State loss by Michigan State, because. Mm-hmm. And Iowa doesn't end up winning the Big Ten. That's the only way two SEC teams will be able to get in. Do do we do we think um, the Big Ten's a one team no matter what? Yeah, I think undefeated so. Undefeated Ohio State plays undefeated Iowa. Yeah, I think whichever team wins the Big Ten is going to lock their place in, and I don't think another Big Ten team is going to be able to slide their way into the playoffs at the end of the year. 
Yeah, just, I, I don't think two Big Tens. Uh, it's interesting, though, no. because you're talking about some one-loss teams in the SEC getting a chance to win, and if the only loss in the Big Ten is the loser of the Big Ten championship, how can you say, you know, but the SEC is a much tougher conference. Let's talk. The other question that came up was Utah. <clears throat> Utah's way down in the polls after um, their loss, but they've had some wins. And then you have Stanford, who's lost at Northwestern. Uh, and then Stanford's playing Notre Dame. So does a Pac-10 team, Utah, Stanford, get in? Uh, Utah is 10th. I think Stanford, I, I had written down, is 8th or 9th. Let's see, we had LSU's ninth, so maybe uh, seventh. Seventh. Okay, seventh. thanks, Sammy, for finding the polls. So there, there we go. Um, do they meet? I, I'm not even sure what we got. We should know the north and the south, right? So that is Stanford and Utah. Can they meet in a championship? If Stanford beats Notre Dame, do they work in? They Sammy thinks so. I think they can. I, I, think, I think that's going to be – that may be the battle for the fourth spot. Uh, really, if Notre Dame beats Stanford, I think Notre Dame gets a nod. If Stanford wins, uh, Stanford's going to get that nod. Um, I, I don't think it's going to come down to the uh, the Pac-10 or Pac-12, whatever it is out there. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to really come down uh, to that conference game just because I think that conference is a little bit weak, weaker this year than it has been in the past. I think the big game for Stanford is going to be the Notre Dame game. Okay. Does uh, uh, a Notre Dame win knock out the Pac-12 as a whole? Anybody? Um, that's I, that's tough. Yeah, that's you know, a tough. Stanford call. would have two losses, and then Utah is sitting at ten. By that time, Utah would probably pass up Stanford. Uh, maybe they switch, and then. Um, but does that championship game carry any weight when you got Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Baylor sitting there? You got uh, TCU might also be in the mix possibly if they can bounce back. So I'm looking at that Notre Dame Stanford game is really important. Yeah. I I think we're overlooking Utah's win against Michigan early in the year. Most people didn't look at that as a good win. That's but a good then point. Michigan went on an absolute tear. Um it's I think I think we kind of overlook those early games cuz they dismantled Oregon, but I mean they also lost to a USC team that hasn't really lived up to the hype this year. That I mean, that's a real good point that Utah. And then Sammy said Utah plays UCLA as well. If you call Utah can go and win that championship, they beat Michigan. They beat an Oregon team that's struggling this year, but it's hard to win at Oregon. The, yeah. That's an outside chance. I, I don't see I don't see a Pac-10 team getting in unless Stanford beats Notre Dame, and then wins the championship and can sneak in as the as the number four. So I think it's Stanford's to – Stanford has to be that team there. Let's talk a, a little bit about ACC. Clemson, are, obviously, they're the, they're the only ACC chance, I believe. Um, yeah. You know, I don't see Florida State having a chance to get in. If, if Clemson loses, then it opens up some of these other scenarios. Is, is that what you guys are seeing, or do you disagree? Uh, I, Depends I, what I, kind of loss, I would have to say. Yeah, if Clemson gets beat, um, I think that's going to open up. That may open up for uh, Big 12. I mean, we're, we're throwing around these other conferences, but I think at the end of the day, um, I think the Big 12 has a good, really, really good shot to take that last spot uh, away from Notre Dame. Um, but I think, again, Notre Dame has to lose. But uh, Clemson, you know, again, holds their own destiny. They keep winning out. They're going to be in. Yeah, and I, I just I just don't think the ACC is that strong for Clemson to lose to one of the teams they're playing or to championship to get in, and I, I just don't see that. It would be interesting to have two Big Ten versus two uh, SEC have some of these losses and have <laughs> Iowa and Ohio State be undefeated in the Big Ten championship and have Alabama and Florida, two one-loss teams, and LSU. This, this have two semifinals there um, that way. Okay. Um, what else do we need to talk about? Independence, Notre Dame. What's Notre Dame's chances? Uh, they're in right now. What do they have to do, in your guys' opinion? Got to get that win over Stanford, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and, they, and they, have, they don't have any really resume builders on their schedule here. I think Wake Forest, uh, Stanford. 
I forget who the third one is, the the other person they, they have to play, but I think Stanford's their biggest one. Um, well, that's the weekend after Thanksgiving, too, I believe. All right, any other thoughts about the uh, bowl championship series and uh, college uh, college football? Uh, or what are you guys looking forward to watching here as uh, – what are – what are you going to be looking forward to as far as this college playoff goes uh, coming forward? Well, I think um, with the Big 12, they got kind of screwed over <laughs> for not having a championship game last mm-hmm. year. I think the same thing could happen to Notre Dame, too. I mean, they don't play in a conference championship game. What? I mean, it could – Florida has a tremendous game against a Bama or an LSU – or even Utah, they could destroy UCLA and win that Pac-12. I mean, it's there are some scenarios that I think that we're kind of overlooking that as well. Mm-hmm. That's true. Good point. Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to wrap this up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, excuse the three of you. I'm going to have uh, Sammy come back in for just a final closing between the two of us. But here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to go around the panel tonight, and who is uh, your championship game, and who do you think is going to uh, win the championship? We'll start with you, Daniel. Um, with I see it being Clemson playing a – um, very heated Ohio State team. They end up – Clemson gets the one seed. Ohio State ends up getting the three seed. Um, I think Ohio State feels disrespected for getting the three seed. I'm just going home or yeah. here. Go There's Buckeyes. the Buckeyes. <laughs> all right, King, <Katie, laughs> championship prediction. Uh, who's going right. to play in the championship game and who's going to win it all? Yeah, you know, it's it's a big hope coming from my part uh, – I would personally like to see Iowa make their way in and get a four seed, upset Clemson, and unfortunately fall to Alabama and Nick Saban because I think uh, Alabama's a force that's going to be tough to handle towards the end of the year. And Ty, your championship game and your uh, winner. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here, gentlemen. I'm going to say Clemson, Stanford in the championship game. I think Stanford's going to come up (laughs) – with a big win over Notre Dame, I think that's going to boost them up uh, to get into the playoffs. I think they're going to have a nice run here at the end. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, I think uh, the trophy's going to go back to South Carolina. I really think Clemson uh, is going to take care of business. Hey, I, I, I kind of like Clemson too, and everyone's kind of on the Clemson bandwagon. I can see a scenario where um, I think Ohio State doesn't make it. Uh, sorry, Jakes, and that's nothing against you, but <laughs> no, I think I... – um, I agree. I think Notre Dame's going to slide up. It's going to be Notre Dame, Alabama, and one semifinal. Alabama is going to be in the championship, and I think Clemson, uh, Alabama, is where I'm heading. And I think Alabama wins in an upset. I wouldn't be surprised to see Oklahoma State. So that is uh, our conversation here, uh, Delphi Bracketology. Uh, I'm going to bring Sammy Jacobs back in after everyone signs off and just do a, a closing uh, thing. I appreciate all of you taking your time. <laughs> We'll watch the videotape and see what you like. So, um, again, that's Delphi Bracketology. We will be revisiting this format throughout the year for more football talk and also starting up some basketball talk around Christmas time. So, thank you very much to panelists. I'm going to sign you out. And then, Sammy, if you would call in, we'll finish this up. Thank you very much. Stay tuned here for our closing comments. Okay, Sammy is going to join us back in um, here shortly for a a final conversation. First of all, I'd like to say to our our listeners and anyone who might watch this, uh, this Delphi Bracketology Club has been very enjoyable to to be a part of. I appreciate the the young men who took their time and and Ty Schuler who took time to talk tonight. Also, the young men who were in our chat room talk. It is a um, it is what education is should be about is learning and communicating and i look forward to having more people in the chat room i wanted to bring sammy back because um he's been our official sponsor for our game day 
and he's been a source of information for me, and I wanted to publicly thank him uh, for what he does for our uh, Indiana football program. Uh, Lord knows we need the publicity and we need the support. I also want, would like to thank you, Sammy, uh, personally um, for um, keeping th- keeping me sane in, in, in tough times, but it, it's good to have we're, someone. We're calling this sane? Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, so – I wanted to at least have you end it here with uh, this is Hoosier Huddle game day and Hoosier Huddle uh, uh, bracketology talk. Uh, so uh, thank you, and we will end tonight's show with your championship game and your prediction, and then we'll call it a night. All right. Well, there's obviously uh, still uh, a lot of football to play, but um, if I had to go with the top four now, uh, I, I could see uh, Clemson, Ohio State, uh, but I, I think a lot of things are going to change uh, down the road, and we'll see how matchups dictate because you could shuffle all these games, and it, it football is a matchup sport, and some teams might not match up well uh, with others. So it, it will be exciting. Right now I'll go with Clemson and Ohio State. Um, it will change uh, just like the uh, – the panel will change itself. Um, so I, I do think these are not the four teams you're going to see in there. Um, mm-hmm. Somebody's going to lose. That's just what happens. And it, whether it's Ohio State, you know, whether Clemson stubs it, uh, its toe, um, you know, Notre Dame could lose at Stanford. Uh, a- anything could happen. So, um, guys, I enjoy all your stuff on, on Delphi game day. Uh, my favorite part is the traveling uh, correspondent. I can't wait to see where he is uh, this week. Uh, hopefully not stuck in a snowstorm, but uh, yeah. thanks guys. Keep up the good work no and um, you know, keep coming to Hoosier Huddle to follow IU football and um, you know, root for your own. Enjoy the rest of the season. There's three weeks left of the regular season, so um, stay sane and uh, we'll see <laughs> you soon, so hopefully. Thank you, Sammy. This is Brian Tonsoni, sponsor of Delphi Bracketology. Uh, We will be having two more game days. We're going to do a college, um, the championship Saturday game day, and we're going to do a bowl version game day. Uh, We kind of ran into a holiday and some technical difficulties, and we haven't been on air for a couple weeks. But we plan two more um, game day shows. We also plan a few more of these video conferences. And so look for that uh, where we talk some weekend stuff. Thank you again.